What's going on guys? Kyle Arnold, also known as Red4424, and this may be a little bit different, but this is the way we stream. Um, I do a face cam now, got everything with a green screen lined up, so hopefully you like the angles and all. But yeah, we're going to get into it today. I'm going to show you my personal wheel settings and what I have figured out works best for me when it comes to racing. First thing you want to do, scroll over to audio and cut the music all the way down. All right, then we'll get into wheel settings. Um, next thing you want to do is go to player two controls, cycle to it, hit the X button, and this is where you can change your wheel rotation. I have extensively tested this thing on 180, and I can tell you for me, even somebody that's coming from 180 degrees on other games, um, this is a little too much. It's, it's too darty. So take it up to 240 degrees, and it's worked perfect so far. We'll go over to player one controls. I'm using the paddle shifts. The uh, stick shift, in my opinion, for this is, uh, I mean, it's a little too much. Um, you can use it if you would like. Me, myself, I'm not a, I'm not that big of a purist. It is fun, don't get me wrong, but I just stick with the paddle shifters. Um, engine and brake pedal vibration. If you do have active back, uh, pedal sets, you can change that. I have mine on. Effect strength. I have it down one click from the left. Both the impact effects and the center and spring is turned off. We drop down to dead zones, and your dead zone is all the way off. Steering range and sensitivity is going to be um, default. Brake sensitivity is at 75%, and throttle sensitivity is 100%. Once again, you might have to play with your settings. For me personally, though, this just works the best. I hope this. All right, had to do a little jump cut there because I ended the video off for some reason. Most important thing, now we got to show you the actual controller settings. Um, I ran a bunch of races on wheels, switched to controller. The settings were not the same at all. I know y'all can hear the kids in the back. So what we're going to do is I'm going to back out to the main menu. And we're going to activate our controller now. Um, as you can see, and I'll hold it up here so people can tell I am using the controller. I'll, I'll show you what I found to be the best for me. Um, player one controls, configurations default, I just like the feeling. Um, I have vibrations on also because it lets me know whenever I'm burning the right rear, I can feel the controller start to vibrate. Um, dead zones one click up. My steering sensitivity is actually two clicks to the left. My steering rate is down one click. And then you go all the way to the bottom and the throttle range is only at 75%. Um, controller is a lot different because you're fighting left, right, left, right going down the straightaway. With a steering wheel, you can simply just hold it in one spot and you're normally good. So some of the things that I've been doing is uh, playing with the sens sensitivity and rate. Don't be scared to uh, get in here and mess with it because this may get you close, but you may need just a little bit more to get it comfortable where you can drive it and where you like it a lot. I appreciate it once again. Appreciate all the love and support here on the live stream lately. Um, hop in the description. You can follow me there on Twitch, Twitter, any of that stuff. Once again, I appreciate it, and I thank y'all all for uh, stopping by. We'll catch you next time. Peace.